what no one tells you about all these glassy kitchen extensions is that unless they're triple glaze, and they never are, they'll feel uncomfortably cold in the winter like a conservatory would, unless the air temperature inside is boiling. So let me explain radiant temperature. Here comes the science bit. Concentrate. The temperature you feel is half air temperature and half the radiant temperature, radiated out of the surfaces around you and things like the sun. Typically, you'll be comfortable with a radiant temp and air temp both around 20 degrees, but you can offset them against each other. So the radiant heat from a patio heater can warm you up even if the air outside of the pub is cold. In the winter, the surface of double glazing will be cold. Because there's so much of it in these kind of spaces, the radiant temperature of the space might only be 14 degrees. So you'd need an air temperature of 23 degrees, which would be expensive and far too hot for the rest of the house. If you had triple glazing, these surfaces wouldn't be nearly so cold, so you could get by with a normal air temperature. That's why in the low energy passive house standard, you have to have triple glazing in a UK climate. But if you're stuck with one of these spaces, if you add radiant heat from an infrared panel or even a quartz heater, you can keep the air temperature inside much more reasonable. Most architects don't know any building physics, but if you want a space that feels as good as it looks, then get in touch with me through the link in the bio.